Well, 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 it looks like we have some Catalyst characters coming in the next couple of banners. Now, obviously, I would like to get both of them, but knowing my luck, I could probably get one because we have a guaranteed and then go ahead and lose my 50-50 on the second one. And first up is Mr. Lawful himself, which if I'm being honest, I'm very disappointed that he's coming first because, you know, I kind of want a Cryo Catalyst. I would have loved to have secured a Cryo Catalyst in and then spent the remaining stuff trying to bring home a third hydro f fourth a fourth hydro one ignore the fact that i'm just not even saying their names because i know i will butcher them i'll probably just be referring to them as mr lawful and nice cop of course i'd much rather refer to the cryo one as bad cop because that seems to fit his character a little better but nice ice it, it, it's right there so i really don't know what i'm gonna do about that because obviously i would like to get both but it's probably smarter to focus on one but th that would just mean skipping the first one entirely which i don't want to do also uh shao who i may be the first person ever in the history of genshin impact to not clear this within the time limit i mean i kind of brought like the worst team possible but I, I didn't remember that they were pyro slimes now i should also mention that in the last video we did it seems like the general consensus is that we completed 12 challenges successfully now i could go ahead and cash out so to speak but in 4.1 these bonus are getting reset so i'm just going to wait to get the best bang for our buck and i did see a couple comments about this so i just wanted to quickly mention it i am not in any way trying to turn this into a whaling account where i just spend a ton of money to get every character to kind of negate the challenge of getting the characters basically since i have three different genshin accounts and two star rail accounts that i have to farm on every day i kind of don't farm on them every day because mentally i don't know if i could do that not to mention i also have to record and edit videos oh this isn't bad like there is literally not enough time in every day for me to do all the events all the dailies all the farming on every account lately i've just been trying to spend resin so we could at least continue to make progress with building characters and this is kind of like a rare case because there's two five-star catalyst characters coming and one of them is the cryo catalyst that we've been waiting for so basically me spending that money on this account this time is just my way to still potentially be able to get the characters while not having to completely lose my sanity by farming everything on every account every day though just as a disclaimer i am not doing this every time there's a new catalyst character putting that aside though i was planning on trying to finish up some stuff in dragon spine like getting the frostbearer tree up to level 10 so we can get that catalyst you know i figured a cryo catalyst user would probably Probably benefit from the catalyst that's from a cryo -y place uh, but then i did some research into that catalyst and i don't think it'll actually be that useful the catalyst i would rather go after is the one that is craftable in fontaine and i am almost positive that i will not be able to buy this um flowing purity yep we need 10 of the little jellyfish bubbly things okay in what universe are these self-defense weapons if you're wielding one of these you don't have to worry about defending yourself you have to worry about your enemies laughing at you but now it is to the ocean and i'll just be needing 10 of you now we should have enough for the blueprint I'm not actually sure if we can craft it, though. I would like this, please. Can we craft it? Uh, nope. Ooh, I mean, this we can craft, so that's fine. These, I don't know where to get these. The game tells me they are over here on the surface, so that is where I'm going. It's going to be a pain to mine them. Actually, I guess this is what Ning Wong is for. So we needed, what, 50 of those? Actually, I hope there are even 50 of them on the map. Give me more than one. More than one, and we'll be... Excuse you, I'm busy here. How many? How many? How many? One? Two? One? No, none? One? Oh, great. How about here? Two? One. This is gonna take a while. A plunge attack. That did nothing. It's gonna be really hard to montage this if they keep putting enemies on all of the piles because now I keep breaking them as I'm fighting the enemies. Blame the game, not the player. I mean, that, that's what they always say, right? Oh, some of them are dropping too. That's nice. So we're at like, what, 24 of them now? Maybe maybe 25? Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much there. Oh, I always love it when we find the baby boars. It makes me so happy to find them. <laughs> Okay, that, that was a bit more morbid than I thought it was going to be. That boar had some bounce to it. Okay, it has come to my attention that 
it may be in my best interest to open up the interactive map as I've been going around for a little bit and we are up to a grand total of 11. Did I say 11? I meant 13. 12. Did I say 12? Because what I actually meant was 14. Perfect. And then the 14 jumps up to 16. 15 but then you go ahead and you multiply 15 by 2 to get 30 and after that you just add in the square root of 400 then you just add in a couple more and bada bing bada boom you are at 51 i don't know how you necessarily forge a book but i mean i'm not the expert on that topic it just seems like a lot of the new characters do stuff with their hp so that sounds like it will be a decent weapon if the new Catalyst characters do something with their HP. And I'm sure that their kits are officially released at this point, but I would still need someone to explain it all to me in Razor terms, so it wouldn't even help if I did read it. Oh boy, what are these? What are... right. Well, okay, uh, real question. Why do we still have daily restrictions when Star Rail doesn't? I'm just saying, it would be so much easier to not have to worry about what day it is when I go to play the game. Because most of the days that I do log in, I end up not being able to farm what I need to farm. It's okay, in like version 9 or 10.0, they'll probably remove that. So we can all look forward to that in like three to four years. Oh. I'm getting a tutorial for the catalyst. Is this the first weapon that comes with its own tutorial? Oh, <gasps> wait a second. I always randomly check the wishing menu because sometimes I forget that I have wishes that I'm saving for when I'm on camera again. And apparently we have six acquaint fates. So maybe, just maybe, we can get the four star. I would prefer a catalyst weapon, honestly. Although to be fair, I suppose constellations for four stars would also be kind of nice. And I don't know how much pity we have because it's been so long since we actually got a five star on here. Or really just since we've done that many pulls just one catalyst four star and i will be happy okay four star anything catalyst related no the game is not listening to us now you have to give me a second four star to make up for it and you don't the absolute audacity of this game to not give me exactly what i ask for every time i ask for it actually you know what it's fine in exchange i'll just ask that on the next five star banner we get early pity speaking of which can we even get early pity oh yeah okay we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna need some early pity here's how the wishes are gonna go by the way we're gonna get early pity we're gonna bring home mr lawful and in the same temple we're also gonna get his c1 and a mona constellation then i'll have a ton of pulls left for the nice cop and i'll also get his c6 in one ten pull i mean people always talk about manifesting right so the fact that i said it means it has to happen or something people sometimes tell me that i'm too negative and i need to be more positive i have to have a more positive outlook on life right and i i never understand that because i am very positive i am incredibly positive positive that I won't get what I'm hoping for. Well, here's something I didn't really account for. You see all the red exclamation points all over the UI, like everywhere? Yeah, well, you know what that means. We are officially in a new version of Genshin. I don't know exactly how it happened though, because I thought this video was definitely gonna be out before this update. And obviously, with this update comes one of the new Catalyst users. The thing is, I still don't know if I should pull for him or not. Also, I have absolutely no idea what he does, so we're gonna find out right now. Oh, what is what is this? Oh, oh, that looks fun. Although that is a very long charge up, so you probably want a shield or just some good healing. Uh, oh, oh, you can move? This is weird. This reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. Okay, the fact that you can move with it is very good because I was just gonna say you could get knocked out of this so easily. Oh. I kind of want to pull for him now. And look, look, the trial puts him with a sucrose. So I, I have a sucrose. Let's see, what does E do? Uh, good damage. Oh, what? <laughs> this is just so funny to me. All right, what about the Q? We, uh, damage, more damage. How, how about some more damage? How about one of these? How about a little bit of this? <laughs> Should I read what he does? Probably, but I just want to mash buttons a little bit. Oh, apparently... Thanks to this artifact set, it looks like you can build him with stupid low crit rate. And that way, when you're using his charge attack, you get 36% additional crit rate. I'm sure this is not news to any of you, but I don't really look into this stuff that often. Oh, and he's got a built-in hydro damage bonus. So essentially, with the correct artifact set, you just shove 
crit damage and HP percent, and you win. Okay, okay. So if we charge this here, yeah, if you grab those little particle things, it makes his charged attack charge faster. And it just looks really goofy the whole time. So I guess the question is, for this account, how can I synergize him best if I were to pull him? The sucrose, I like the idea of sucrose to bunch all the enemies up. Maybe we just throw that out there, and then one of that, and then some of this, and look, look, look at the damage. And then I guess I could replace Fischl with the Yaimiko. And also with this update, the packs did regain their original bonuses, which means because of the last video we did, I, I need to, um, I need to swipe a little bit. And as I mentioned earlier, you guys said we completed 12 challenges, so 120, so 100, and then 15 and 5 is 120. I'm at least capable of doing that kind of math. Oh yeah, and then we get the extra primos for just playing the game. After a bit of consideration and debating with myself, I have decided that I do believe we will be pulling for Mr. Law. At least I, I think that's what I referred to him as earlier in the video. And as such, there is only one place that we can go to do this. We'll be standing right at the scale of justice. And for a team, we'll have Barbara, just, you know, because Hydro. We'll have Kokomi, because fellow Hydro fish person. We will put Yanfei, because she also works closely with the Law. And then Mona, is another hydro character plus she you know sees into the future or whatever so we're definitely going to be getting two copies of him in a ten pole though i feel like yanfei is the best one to do this so um to a theater of literally nobody i will now perform the miracle of bringing home a five star at early pity in case you're curious where the pity is because I, I probably showed earlier but i already forgot it's it's three it's very high and on our very first 10 pull of the video yeah i figured that'd be too good to be true also there's no four star catalyst user on this banner so it's gonna be a little rough for us if we have to keep pulling on here but going up now to 24 pity nothing early yet but that's gonna change soon it's gonna change trust me because going to 34 pity I'm feeling a double five star on the next one. 44 pity sounds better for that, actually. And we're still just getting characters I can't use. So 44 pity, you know, 40, it just, it sounds nice. 44 pity, two copies. No, okay, more official. Here we go, 54 pity. You could do it, you could do it, game, I believe. I'm, I'm, it's, it's becoming hard to believe. I'm losing faith in this. We are now going to... 64 pity and i thought that was gonna be gold for a second i, I really did and it wasn't and it, you had again official so this brings us oh gosh we're gonna run out of primos we're <laughs> how the heck am i supposed to get two new characters it's gonna be so sad if after all this time we don't get the cryo catalyst user on the catalyst only account but we're already in this deep this brings us up to 74 pity and <laughs> we, we gotta go to pity to get the five star oh look official wow that's surprising but i guess the, the the good thing here right we're at 74 pity right now so this brings us to 84 and that means we're gonna get two of him because we're close to pity and the game will be nice to us so there's the gold it's guaranteed to be him but it's not guaranteed to be two and it's going to be two ignore that so here is the first one right there right there okay okay that's great and all right it's fantastic but then the second one boom boom Okay, 82 pity for this boy, huh? Game just couldn't, it couldn't be nice to me for once. Scale of justice? Not, mm -mm, more like scale of injustice. This is what I think of your stupid scale of justice. And you know what's really crazy? I actually thought to myself, oh, if we get early pity, maybe I'll even be cheeky and pull on the weapon banner for his signature weapon. As if I was going to have enough primos to get him, his weapon, and then the crowd catalyst user as well. I don't know what kind of copium I was on. But I think we should go ahead and make him his own prototype Amber so I don't have to take it away from Kokomi. Then we'll just see how much we can't actually upgrade it. I must say, I am quite surprised with how high I was able to bring that right away. I can't max it out yet, at le least not today, but that, that's pretty good progress for me. Now, leveling is going to be a very different story. The first one is obviously free for us because we did his trial, but beyond that, I don't think we can go very far. What the heck is this? 
Wait, what's a Fantomer Unihorn? Uh, uh, explain? Someone? Someone Someone explain? W what is this? It's like Xerneas and Kingdra had a baby. Thank goodness that these wings look good on him because I really don't have any... I guess those aren't bad either. Before I investigate the sea reindeer, I do want to try my hand at this artifact domain, see if we can get a little lucky in there. You know, perhaps our luck on the pulls didn't go that great because all of our luck's going to be in the artifact domain. I'm still waiting for the day that I finally get... To Two five stars in the same ten pull. They don't even have to be like the right character, the banner character. They could be literally anything. I just want it to happen so bad. Then the good thing about this specific team is even if our new boy goes down, it doesn't matter because we still have Hyper Bloom. And I'm sure he's going to go down. Trust, trust, trust. Like, look at this. And somehow he's still up okay oh there's a second wave i was so proud thinking that we actually handled this pretty well but you know what it's not going terribly of course i think i owe most of that to kokomi let's see our first ever run in this domain on maybe any account and we get is this is this even the right set i don't i think this one's the right set it's hp which, I mean, we want HP. I can't say it's the best piece I've ever seen. I gotta be honest, this is such a goofy play style. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's fun, but it's just weird. Like, this is not at all how I expected him to play. Come on, come on, something useful. Something decent, at least. Doesn't have to be amazing. Just uh, just the right set, preferably. Oh, wh what is this? Healing bonus, double crit? Is this for my off-field healing crit, Kami? Oh. Oh, this, oh my, this would be so good if it wasn't on the other set. I, I'm keeping that regardless. This other set, this one, uh, is this good for anyone on this account? Because this, this is a very juicy piece. Assuming it rolls well, of course. Come on, come on, come on, this one. It is HP, Goblet, I would probably prefer Hydro Damage, I think. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't really know the correct way to build them. I would assume it's like HP, Hydro Damage, and then Crit. The most shocking thing is that he's surviving surviving this because he really shouldn't be the dude has zero artifacts equipped i guess that's a good sign although i don't know if that's a good sign that he's a good character or that kokomi is just a really good healer okay one chance not what i was looking for oh all right talent i don't ask me how I forgot that we have to level up talent. Oh, I can't. That's right. Okay. No, I didn't forget anything. And even though this is not the correct set, so it is not smart to power this up right now because I don't have much to power stuff up with, I, I just need to know how it rolls. And I'm sure at least one of you also want to know how this rolls. Okay. It wasn't the best, but it's not bad. And I guess you can just hold on to it for now. So with just two runs left in terms of resin, I'm hoping we can at least finish a two set. Um, come Come on, come on, hydro damage, attack percent. Final run, this is the one. This is when we get that one good piece on the correct set. Right game? Right game? Defense? Right, uh, mm, no, okay. So in terms of the set that we want, uh, this and this are the best ones we got. I mean, it's not like it matters because as we saw, he's still able to hold his own th thanks to everyone else on the team. So why do we even need good artifacts on him? And you know what is kind of sad is while I was looking through my artifacts for just something to slap on him for the time being, I saw that we have this. That is a pretty nice piece. And I know with him, we kind of could run him with Ning Wong and then put her on the four piece archaic Petra. Then when we crystallize, we also get a, I think it's 35% damage boost to other characters if they use that same element. So crystallize Hydro and then switch to him. It could be good damage. But of course, right now he kind of needs to stay on Hyper Bloom. Also, I'm realizing I've never been here. This is all new. Oh, oh, that's a lot of water. Now he's able to swim fast underwater. So is this all like new oh yeah this is all stuff you have to do oh boy also we get that nice 15 percent increased swim speed i guess my main account is gonna have to do some more exploring huh the new boss is supposed to be around here somewhere and if this loops back to the right which it seems like it's doing then i think this might be the way to it now let's see what this boss fight's all about i'm assuming that you're invincible at the start of the fight yep okay it has some sort of shield oh it, it looks electro must i break said electro shield that you can still damage it through it but i feel like um oh well i thought that dendro was definitely gonna break through that does the shield just 
just stay up? Am I supposed to break the shield? Maybe cryo is what you're supposed to use here. Though, to be honest, it, it seems like this also kind of just works. Like, Hy Hyperbloom just beats the game, basically. I do like that attack. I don't like having to face it, but I like how it looks. And that's that. Even through the shield, it felt pretty easy. So I'm just wondering if you can break that shield. Does the thing just melt? I mean, it kind of explains it here, but it sounds like any elemental reaction should do the trick. It just felt like that shield shield was not taking much damage, but that's fine because it was easy enough. Oh, I need starfish. I mean, luma toily. Lu loom, luma toily. Yeah, this is, this is why I probably should not pronounce his name. I apologize to anyone that speaks French. So I'm just gonna refer to them as starfish. Ooh, ooh, I found one. That's the second one I found in the last 10 minutes. We are making fantastic time on that front. <gasps> Number three. Now, what is this? Any starfish? Oh, well, I, I doubt starfish are gonna be out of the... Uh-oh. I'm uh, sorry for intruding on whatever this is. I did not mean to. Please let me go. Uh, oh, wait, what is this? Apparently, I have unfinished comedy. I have whatever that means. I think that's the name of the quest. Is this like the new system for if a quest overlaps another quest? I'm afraid if I suspend any quest, it's going to make me restart that at some point. I don't actually know what the correct choice here is is because like the current quest is that the one that i'm like doing right now or is that the one that i'm currently doing on the account as a whole besides the one that i'm apparently starting now so if i suspend the one that i'm doing now is that suspending the one that i just walked into or is that suspending the one that i was working on before or am i continuing the one that i just walked into i, I i'm just gonna hit continue the, um this quest requires a significant amount of Okay, let's suspend. You should have led with that. Where the heck did you bring me? There's no starfish here. I really do feel like somewhere there's just a giant field of starfish and I am just not finding that spot. I am swimming everywhere except for that spot. But that spot has to exist, right? Oh, ooh. Is that is that number four? Four and number five. I'm kind of curious if the interactive map has the location of these yet. What? Huh? Red light. I'm not gonna question it. Oh, there's two. Jackpot. That's it. I'm giving into the temptation. I am going to go look at the interactive map. It has been 20 minutes and I've only collected seven starfish. Where the heck are they hiding these things? Oh, wait a second. Apparently, it seems like there's actually quite a lot of them on the shore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's tons of starfish. All right, assuming that by pulling for this boy, I did not lock myself out of getting the first ever cryo catalyst user. I will say I am happy that I pulled for him because his play style does just seem fun. Like so far, I'm just enjoying this. Even though he does no damage yet, he helps with the hyper bloom, I guess. Like this, this is just nice. And then he gets to do it again. And then once that's out, you could put that down and do it again. Plus he automatically heals himself through some of his skills. Oh, he has sends into crit damage too? That is nice. And let's see it. What's he need for the talents? He requires those things. I guess I gotta start killing the seals that we see. I think it's just most aquatic related mobs drop them. Uh, let's see. You, yeah, pretty much anything that lives in the ocean. <gasps> Baby boars. Hey, hey, Hoyoverse, please. Please, 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 resin, uh, increase, increase amount of resin, please. There is so much farming I want to do, but I don't have the resin to do it. I know you've said in the past you won't, but uh, no one will get mad at you if you change your mind. Think about it. More resin equals more time that people be playing the game. You could add the overflow thing that you put in Star Rail so people don't feel overwhelmed. And then if people have more resin to spend building characters, be able to build more characters and once those characters are built they'll want more new characters because the ones that they have are already taken care of and that results in more pulling see hoyoverse you benefit too it's a win-win well it definitely looks like i have a lot of work ahead of me to try to get him up to par but i'm looking forward to being able to make this do big damage so with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy and as always i will see you all next time